What's up, YouTube? It's Joe the Collector here once again. And if you haven't done so yet, please give my channel a like and uh, go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell so that you don't miss out on any of my new content. Okay, so I finally went to C2E2. And the uh, main reason why I went there is because I wanted to do some on-site grading. And um, man, that, it, was, it was intense. It was, that's probably the best, I, I'm gonna have to put that as the best Comic-Con I've been to so far. Okay, so uh, I went ahead and I did the on-site grading. Had to stay there three days. I, uh, big shout out to Cordelia, John, Andrew and Alex, you know, you guys always show me love in Chicago and so I got to hang out with my friends there in Chicago and a bunch of other friends uh, that I met in Chicago, some a uh, bunch of other cool people and I also got to meet a bunch of awesome creators including Rob Liefeld, Joe Rubenstein, Ashley Witter, um, I mean, I could go on. I met so many cool. Oh, Mike Chrome, he's awesome. All the rare appearance in Chicago from Australia. I believe this was his first time in Chicago. So yeah, really big, really big uh, event. Huge, huge convention center. I mean, I walked around for three days and I don't even think I got to see everything. But yeah, so I'm going to get right into these grades from these these books that I picked up. And show you guys all the stuff that I got on site graded. Um, they were really lenient with me on the grades, and I'm just super excited and, and happy to be sharing this with you guys here uh, for uh, for the first time here in my my video. Okay, so enough talking. Let me get into this. Let me take one more sip of my. I love Capri Suns, as you can't tell. So I'm gonna go ahead and. I'm parched. I just got out of work, and uh, so I still got on my my work clothes. But I got this one again. This is the first appearance of X23, Laura Kinney. This one came back a 9.8. Super happy I got that book. Now it's gonna stay in my collection. Not selling it. Also picked up Incredible Hulk, number 340. This one as well came back a 9.8. I got Avenging, let me take this one off the plastic so you guys can see it better. Avenging Spider-Man number nine, the first appearance of Carol Danvers. This came back 9.8, but as you can see, this one came with the new CGC labels, which was, this was debuted at the uh, C2E2 Chicago Comic Con, and it's that's a cover by Eddie Granoff for Captain Marvel. Actually, I think that was where they were getting the Infinity Stones, but super happy about those. Those came back 9.8. Here goes some other ones that I got that didn't turn out as good as I expected them to. They came back kind of low grade, but some Mariner number 8. Tough cover because it's black cover. This one came back 7.5. Classic cover where he's battling the thing. I love that book, so it's part of my personal collection, so I, I just wanted to protect it, and that's why I got it graded. Also picked up Strange Tales 107, I mean, this book is nice. This is when Submariner was battling the Human Torch. This one came back a 4.0. Is that Jack Kirby cover? No. Yeah, it is Jack Kirby. Spider-Man 332 newsstand. This one came back low grade. 9.0. But also check these ones out. This is this one's got the new Spider-Man slab on it. Check out the new Spider-Man slab. And it's they don't give the description because where the description goes, that's where Spider-Man is at. And they did the same thing with Stan Lee um, before he passed away. If you had some books that were uh, R.I.P. Stan Lee, by the way, that's my boy. And 
if you had some books that were signed by Stan Lee and they witnessed them, CGC would give you a special Stan Lee uh, slab. Also, I got Amazing Spider-Man 301. Super, super bummed out about this grade. 9.4 because I mean it was gorgeous beautiful but it's another one it's tough it's 9.4 a lot of these books I didn't even get pressed and cleaned the only one I got pressed and cleaned prior to CGC grading was the Hulk 340 and it did have a, a spine row on it and my buddy pressed it for me and I'm so happy it came back on 9.8 but this one here this book right here is the one I'm most excited about. This is probably one of the only ones in existence. I have yet to see it. Somebody yet on fa somebody on Facebook messaged me today, or I'm sorry, they commented on one of my posts on Facebook, and they said, I, I believe I have a 317 double cover. He's asking me how much it's worth. It's very hard to tell what these comic books are worth because there's not really a big market for them because they're so rare. So there hasn't any sales. But this is a double cover, uh, outer cover 9.4, inner cover 9.8, of the first appearance of Blink. And it came back at 9.8. So like I was saying, I mean, it's this is one of the rarest books. And what's really going to get you guys is I paid two bucks for it. So to me, X-Men are hot. And I'm an X-Men fan, and I'm always going through X-Men $2 bins, $1 bins, you know, looking for these little rare treats like this. Because there's a lot of them in X-Men. You got holograms that are flipped upside down, different colors. You got double covers. You got a lot of hard-to-find price variants in X-Men. So, I mean, I know a lot of them, and I'm always looking for those. So, whenever I go in those $2 boxes... I'm always picking them up and I just throw them in my bag and I don't even realize that I got a rare book until I go home. Uh, I picked up a, a Pressman one time for a buck, rare Pressman variant. And didn't even know I had it until I went home and I started looking. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is a $300 book and I got it for a buck. So yeah, stuff like that. I'm super happy about that one. And if you want to purchase that book, it's on eBay right now. I got, what did I put on it? I put 900 or best offer. So, I mean, if you guys, if there's people out there who just collect the, um, you know, the rare double covers. So, if that's something that you're into, I mean, check it out. It's on my eBay. Uh, same handle, the collector of comics, or just look that book up, and I'm sure it's the only one that's going to pop up. So, another one is Amazing Spider-Man 316. Bummed out. This is my favorite Spider-Man cover with Venom. No, I'm sorry, my favorite Venom cover by Todd McFarlane. That's a sick-ass book, but I was hoping that it came back like a 9.6. At first, it looked like a 9.8, but after I started analyzing it and looking at it more, I'm like, it's going to be a lower grade, but it came back 9.2. 9 oh, well. This book right here is huge. I never got a chance to get it pressed and cleaned, but this is the first appearance of Ronin, which was in the Captain Marvel movie as well. came back pretty high grade. 8.5 and I never got it pressed and clean so I mean if it pro if it would have got pressed and clean it probably would have been a 9.8 but all in all I'm just very happy with my grades and uh, also if you guys get a chance follow me on my Instagram my Instagram handle is the collector of comics you'll see a lot of pictures of me uh, my time at C2E2 I post a lot of stuff on there for sale. It is my for sale page. And if you guys get a chance, go ahead and give me a follow. I usually follow everybody back. If you're not a comic collector, I mean, that's I probably won't follow you back. You know, I, I tend to keep that page comic based. So if there's anything on there that, you know, it's really not. If, I mean, you're not a collector and I don't see comics on there, I don't see any need for me to follow you on that account. I have another account, which is my my personal account, uh, Tron3D2011, and that's where I usually interact with people who aren't comic book collectors, um, but yeah, so that's basically my CGC submissions and my on-site grading experience. The on-site grading was great. Everybody there was helpful. They have a new system at CGC as well, real quick, I want to tell you guys. You go in line, they take your name down. And they send you a text to your phone. And then when you get Excelsior, 
you you know you can you can go around and look and stuff and look at books and you don't have to wait in line anymore. When you see Excelsior though, you have to go back to the CGC booth and then there they'll they'll sign they'll get your books in and you know help you fill out the paperwork and all that stuff. But yeah, it was um really freaking cool experience, man. I, I was really happy to be there at C2E2 and the cosplayers there were insane. I got to meet uh, Vera Bambi, and she was there. I got a picture with her, international cosplayer. Um, so it was super cool time. And, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see you guys on the next comic uh, video. As always, Joel the Collector. Peace. One. I'm out.